Big trip? Yeah, long trip. Yeah, it's going to be good. How, I mean, the guys all seem excited about it. Like, do you, do these road trips, like, what do you think they do for them? Yeah, I would sooner go on a four-game trip like this than go to the one-game game here and back. So, no, I'm looking forward to it. It should be fun. It's a long trip out there today, five or six hours. So, you know, the good thing is we got a good practice there tomorrow. We had a great practice today. So, looking forward to it. What do you think the key is uh, to take your game the way you've been playing that on the road? Can maintain our game. Keep playing well. Keep giving yourself a chance to win every night, and that's what we've been doing. I mean, even the game we lost in Nashville, that we played well enough to have a chance to win. So keep doing that, and you'll win more than you're going to lose. When you have three games in four days, and all of a sudden it's a four-day, you know, off, you know, kind mm -hmm. of off week before going on a trip, is there a concern of coming out flat to start on a West Coast trip? Or? I'm not concerned about that at all. I mean, yesterday. Like I said, I can only imagine how I was exhausted yesterday, so I can only imagine how the players were felt yesterday. They, they had to play the game, so it's uh, you need your breaks during the season, and it was a good time for this break, and we'll see what happens. But I'm not going to, if we play flat in the first period, I'm not going to blame it on this. You know, it won't be because of this. Would you like to be able to find a way to maybe limit ice time for a couple of your guys, like Fox maybe? Maybe, or yeah, you don't, I'm, think that, you don't think that's an issue. I don't think it's an issue. I mean, sometimes if I'd like to get more for the other guys, sometimes, but they're playing good hockey, and you know, as soon as I sit them down a little bit, then they're looking at me. They want to get on the ice. So <laughs> that's the problem you have, Larry, with those guys. They want to be on the ice all the time, and like they said, they'll get their rest the next day and in practice. But uh, no, that's you definitely look at the game sheet sometimes and you say, you know, playing a little bit too much minutes, but. Again, it's about winning right now, and it's still, you know, well, I'll get to the quarter point of the season soon. So, but we definitely look at it all the time, and, and the the professionals not telling me they're tired yet, so they're looking at the data all the time. <laughs> the numbers. No, I'm not trying to be smart with them. I'm no, just saying, know, you know I what I mean? mean? Like I mean. The, the numbers from the yeah. from our staff, and yeah. they're saying they're fine. With with Fox. Even though the team results have been up, up and down, how, how steady do you feel like he, he's been for you through this? Yeah, trip? he was outstanding the last four or five games. I mean, obviously he's played really good in uh, the third start of the week this week. So, no, he's played great and he moves the puck and he defends real well. So, we can just keep that going. That's you know that's what you want from a player, and he's been a great player for us. So, we see the points, but are there are there other things that you see from him that in your time with him that he's gotten better at? Yeah, no, I mean. I was with him for last year, and he was outstanding again last year, coming up at the Norris Trophy. So I haven't seen any really bad spurts. I mean, game here, game there, but he's been outstanding for the hundred and some games he's played for me. So is, I'm sorry, is, is Kravtsov now a coach's decision? I mean, is he clear to play? I, I, I'll know more this afternoon, but he looked great out there. Like he was flying, and he looked really healthy. So, but I haven't been told that yet. If he's good, is he going? I don't know. We haven't made the decision. I mean, we, we just played a pretty good, strong game, and I like the way the lines were going after the first period. <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll decide. It's, we got two games to decide that, and we have a good practice tomorrow. So, But he looked really good, so I can't see them saying to me that he's not ready to play. Um, how much does the opposition line up at this point go into your decisions about playing Ryan Reeves now? Well, I, I mean, I just. Like it's it's not a whole lot really. I mean, sometimes obviously the Nashville game on the road, big head physical team, you put into that. But I, I don't like making decisions on who you're playing to, to put your lineup out. Does it come into effect? Yes, I'm not going to lie to you. But uh, I want Rebo to be a good player every night and and uh, be a big part of our group. And that's what we asked from day one. And you know, right now we we added some more speed to our group. And you know, when he doesn't play, that's probably the reason. Adding more speed. And again, I when Rebo plays well, I, just, I, I love having him be part of our group. He's a big part of our group. You, you talked about you know, they're closing in on kind of the quarter point of the season. Where do you think your team's? What do you think your team's identity is right now? No, it's the same as it was last year. There's no difference. I mean, we play some real good games. We, I think, we've improved defensively. Still got to get better, but we definitely improved defensively and. I'd like this to put a few more pucks in the net. I mean, five on five, we got to get better there. But uh, no, and and again, we're it's a different team than last year. I mean, you know, we had Hunt there, now Vesey's there, and so different people are playing in different spots. And 
I, I guess you, you always say you wish you had set lines for the whole year. It's never going to happen. <laughs> no team, it doesn't, it doesn't happen like that. You know, I watch some other teams play. I watch the Islanders play. When, when they get in a good run, they got their set lines and they're rolling them over. When you get a couple injuries, then you got to move people around in different spots. And it's the way it is with every team. It's the way it is. If you look at just goals for, goals against, like plus minus kind of stuff, the, the, the Miller Truba pair has been on for a lot of goals against. I mean, are mm -hmm. you seeing anything with them, or do you think that that is not? Are you there issues? No, I, I, I don't judge the plus minus. Like, Brad's minus eight. You know what I mean? I wish he was plus eight, yes. Yeah. But I still think he's playing great hockey. So I don't put it on a pair, a defenseman, or one individual. I put it on the, you know, when you look at the goal and see what the faults are. So I don't really put it like that. I really don't. Those two, though, I mean, they, they were so important for you last year. We know that. Like, yeah. As far as what you're seeing from them now, how do you assess well, it? Well, maybe they're playing a little bit too much hockey. And, you know, they're playing against top lines again. Both of them are. So a little bad streak, maybe. A little bit unlucky, maybe. You know, so... But I'm not really worried about it, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. They're good players, and they play a lot for us every night, and you know so. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah.